Good morning, scholars. Today is Wednesday, April the 1st, 2020. Our lesson for today is Unit 6, Lesson 2A. Before we start, there are some materials that we will need um, for our lesson. You're going to need Chapter 2, pages 11 through 13, sheet of notebook paper, a pencil, and a distraction-free location. Scholars, I want to remind you that if you have any questions about today's lesson, you can reach out to Ms. Richardson via Google Classroom from 2.15 to 3.15. Also, scholars, before we start this lesson, you should have completed the reading of pages 11 through 13 in chapter two and your DIRT quiz. If you have not completed um, your reading of pages 11 through 13 and your DIRT quiz, I want you to go ahead and pause the video now, go back and complete those two assignments. All right, scholars, so now that you have completed your DIRT quiz and your reading for today, I want to remind you that we are one big learning family. We're all here to support each other, grow as learners, and make this virtual experience the best experience yet. Our focus question for today is, what steps did Cleopatra take in order to establish herself as the ruler of Egypt? Again, our focus question for today is, what steps did Cleopatra take in order to establish herself as the ruler of Egypt? Scholars, before we begin to attack the prompt, I want to ensure that we have our notes um, written correctly. I'm going to show you how my notes and your notes should look. All right, scholars, as you can see, I have listed my name, Mrs. Trotter, the date. Again, it is April 1st. Unit 6, Lesson 2A, and then I went ahead and wrote down our focus question. What steps did Cleopatra take in order to establish herself as the ruler of Egypt? I'm going to give you a few seconds to go ahead and just make sure that the heading of your notes is written correctly and you are ready to roll. And we'll be back in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. So scholars, before we start, I want you to look at this prompt. You're not writing down the steps that you're going to take. You're only going to go in and identify those keywords that sticks out to you and that's gonna help you understand what you or how you should attack this prompt. Scott, I want you to take 30 seconds. I'm putting 30 seconds on the timer. Again, you're going in, you're underlining those keywords that stick out to you that's gonna help you attack this prompt. You have 30 seconds, your time has started. Fifteen more seconds. All right, scholars, let's continue moving. So I know some of you already um, have identified those key words that stick out. I am going um, to give you an example of what I wrote. Um, I identified what we need to tell what the steps are. We are identifying steps that Cleopatra takes, um, establish, and then establish herself as what? It is the ruler of Egypt. So if you did not identify these key words, go ahead and take 10 seconds or so and revise or add to 
your um, identifications. So scholars, now that we have identified exactly what um, we need to look for, we now need to create our steps. Good job. We need to create our steps in how we're going to attack the prompt. And this one's pretty easy. First thing we need to do is identify step one. We need to identify step one and support it with evidence. And then secondly, we're going to identify the second step and support it with evidence. Go ahead and take time to write down the two steps that we're going to take in order to attack the prompt. We're moving. Maybe not. We're moving. All right. Let me make sure that I get this out of your way so you guys can see. So our very first discussion question is what struggles did Ptolemy face and why? What struggles did Ptolemy face and why? Scholars, I want to remind you Ptolemy is Cleopatra's father. And so we're going in and we're looking to see what struggles did Ptolemy face and why. In your notes, I want you to go ahead, write down your very first prompt. You should be writing the number one. You're going to write down what struggles did Ptolemy face and why. So scholars, this is a two part question. First, you need to identify the struggle and then you need to explain why he faced this struggle. So I am going to read um, a section from chapter two. I'm reading from page 11. And as I read, I want you, you're not making complete sentences right now. If you hear a struggle, I want you to go ahead and identify the struggle. You can do it using bullet points or just writing down those struggles. Again, as I read to you from chapter two, page 11, you're gonna go ahead and identify what struggles you hear um, and go ahead and write down why that struggle um, occurred. Right. By 58 BC, Ptolemy's subjects were paying huge sums by Rome's, to buy Rome's protection. The Alexandrians, Alexandrians, who resented Rome's increasing claims of authority over them, began to speak out. As unrest grew, Ptolemy's only choice was to seek Rome's help, further angering the citizens. Julius Caesar and Pompey, two of the three generals who shared the ruling power in Rome, agreed to provide, to provide Ptolemy with the support he needed, but it came at a very high price. Ptolemy borrowed a huge sum of money to meet their demands, stacking debt upon debt for his subjects to repay. Adding to the crisis, he stood by and let Rome take control of the Egyptian island Cyprus. The Romans had already threatened Egyptian borders by seizing control of neighboring Syria. Now the Roman army seemed to be getting ready for a complete takeover. Fearing for their independence, the Alexandrians launched a revolt against the Pharaoh. King Ptolemy fled the city and made his way to Rome. In his absence, his eldest daughter, Cleopatra VI, and Bernice took charge. 
So scholars, I want you to um, identify the struggles that Ptolemy faced and why. I'm gonna give you an extra two minutes to go in. You're identifying the struggles that he faced and you're explaining why. I have two minutes. Timer is on the clock. As a reminder, you're writing what struggles did Ptolemy face and why. You have one minute remaining. Twenty more seconds. All right, scholars. So now that you have completed your annotations. Let's see if we can get this. We're gonna go ahead and I am going to give you um, what I know many of you already had on your paper as an actual struggle. Ptolemy was not popular with the Alexandrians because he taxed them too much in order to pay for Rome's protection. When he started giving away land to his people revolted and they fled. Scholars, make sure that you have um, this information, parts of this information on your paper. Also, make sure you've identified some evidence um, for that. In here, I have explained what his struggle was. I also um, explained why he was having that struggle. Make sure you're able to identify evidence um, to support my claim that I've made um, stating what his struggle was and why he was facing that struggle. I'm going to give you about 20 seconds to just finish up and tidy up on your notes. Go ahead and take 10 more seconds. And five. We're moving. So scholars, we are now at our second annotation and discussion prompt. On your notes, go ahead and write the number two. The question is, what happened when Ptolemy fled from Egypt? Again, the second question that you should be writing on your paper is what happened when Ptolemy fled from Egypt? 
Take about 20 seconds, write this question down, quick, quick, quick. Ten more. So scholars, now you're going to start reading at the start of Family Betrayals and you're going to stop right before you get to the Lady of Two Lands. So it's almost two pages. I'm going to give you four minutes to read those two pages, but I want you as you're reading, which you have already read this, so this is kind of a refreshment. So as you're going back and rereading these two pages, I want you to um, identify what happened um, when Ptolemy fled from Egypt and go ahead and answer that in your student notes. Again, you're going to reread starting at on page 11, Family Betrayals. You're going to read to page 13, stopping at Lady of the Two Lands. And as you're reading, you're identifying what happened when Ptolemy fled from Egypt. You will have a total of four minutes to do this reading and to respond to the question. Again, you have four minutes. Your time has started. Scholars, I know that some of us are writing his daughter. Go ahead and be very specific. Tell me which daughter are you referring to? Also, don't just say he was away. Tell me more. What did Ptolemy do while he when he was away? Um, from Egypt. And scholars, I'm going to really push you. Um, don't stop yourself. Don't limit yourself at telling me that Ptolemy regained um, Egypt. Tell me what, what steps did he take? What happened after he regained um, Egypt? Push yourself to go think and write further. One more minute. And I want to remind you guys, these are short answers. You are not responding in an ace paragraph right now. 
You're just writing short, quick responses, short answers. You have 10 seconds, make this 10 second count. All right, as I get the screen uh, back up, go ahead and finish up with um, your notes. Give me about five more seconds. All right, scholars. So today's lesson was pretty short um, lesson. However, in today's lesson, your notes should include the following questions. What struggles did Ptolemy face and why? And two, what happened when Ptolemy fled from Egypt? Scholars, if you have any questions about today's lesson, please remember to reach out to Ms. Richardson during office hours from 2.15 to 3.15. Again, you should have the following two questions that's on the screen written in your notes and answered. Scholars, I also want to remind you, you're going to keep your notes. Um, we will be using our notes, um, adding to our notes daily. So you want to keep your notes in a place where you're able to locate the, them and easily find them. Again, if you have any questions about today's lesson, feel free to reach out during, during office hours from 2.15 to 3.15. Before we end, we're going to go over to our Google Classroom and look at the list of everything we need to complete to have a successful day today and everything that we need to do so that tomorrow we are ready. All right, so we are officially uh, or almost done with day three of our virtual um, learning. So you should have read chapter one and chapter two, pages 11 through 13. You should have completed your unit six, lesson 2A dirt quiz. So check, check. Watch the video, unit six, lesson 2A video. Check, you've done that. And four. Complete the Unit 6 Lesson 2A Independent Practice. So right after this video, you're going to go into your Google Classroom. Go ahead and complete your independent practice um, task. And then five, if you have any questions as you're working, you're going to reach out during our office hours from 2.15 to 3.15. If you need or do not know where to find the link to uh, reach out to Ms. Richardson, here is the link here. All you have to do is double click the link. For tomorrow's lesson, please complete the following. You'll need to read chapter two, pages 13 through 16 in Cleopatra, Egypt's last and greatest queen. Guys, remember to have fun just below are um, the documents that you will need to complete your task. It was a great day teaching you guys. Cannot wait um, to chat with you on tomorrow. You guys have a great day. Stay healthy.